Hey everybody, it's Rafi from the Foundation team and we got another release of Foundation for Emails. It's version 2.2. So normally in programming uh, you'll have a major release. So we had 2.1 which was a major release. And then normally you'd have an incremental couple releases after that doing bug fixes like 2.1.1, 2.1.2. We decided to go ahead and skip right to 2.2 because there were so many features in this release. This update comes with two new implementations, bug fixes, and a ton of new features. So one of the biggest things about this release is the new Ruby version of Inky and Foundation for Emails. You can actually use Inky and Foundation for Emails in your Rails asset pipeline. This is going to save you a ton of time. This is already your working environment. Now you don't have to use tables to create your emails. You can use the tried, tried and true tested foundation for emails framework along with clean inky markup in your Rails asset pipeline. It's really awesome. So there's a lot of new features including the ability to put pre-header text into your emails and not actually have them show up in the email as well as a ton of other contributions that came from our contributors. There was over 30 contributors in this release, which is huge. Uh, Brandon Behringer, for example, uh, added the ability to pass in data attributes. So now we could do vertical alignment and direction, so uh, source ordering, things like that. And Clement Paris added the ability to pass in data attributes to your buttons and your menu items which is huge if you want to do like target equals underscore blank, things like that. And Ethan May added the ability to use a spacer on small and large screens. So you can actually now define, I want a 30 pixel vertical spacer on a large screen and I want a 20 pixel vertical spacer on a small screen. So these are some of our favorite updates. There's a ton of updates. There's too many to list here. So definitely check it out in this blog post. And uh, we want to let you know that we're also holding a foundation meetup here on July 14th. That's at the Zurb headquarters and you'll find information on this post as well.